Hello everyone, it's Thumper, the Rabid Rabbit. In this episode of Rust Electricity 101, the component guide, we are going to cover the electrified auto turret. It's the same old auto turret except now you need power, just to make your life more miserable and more interesting. You can see the description has been updated to reflect that it is now electric and requires 10 units of power. You get it from uh, higher tier crates, oil rig scientists, and heavy scientists, and you can purchase it at the outpost for 750 scrap. If you want to craft it, it's one targeting computer, one CCTV camera, and 40 of the most beautiful shiny high qual metal. Let's craft one. Ta da! It's pretty much the same as it's ever been. It's got a big arrow, points at you, because it wants to kill you. You can rotate it. Place it just like normal and authorize on it just like normal. However, there are some changes now. Look at this here. We got a power in on the side of it. Why? Because it needs power. Doesn't that suck? Hope you have power. All right, I'm putting it into a manual switch. Why am I doing that? Because you have to turn this thing off to auth the auth or put ammo in it. So it's nice to have it on a switch. Otherwise, you're going to have to get out your wire tool and disconnect it every time you want to reload the ammo. That's annoying. Let's turn it on. Ta-da! Auto turret. Good old auto turret. I can't put ammo in it because it's on. But look what we have over here. Three outputs. A has target. A low ammo. And finally, a no ammo output handle. What do these do? If you connect has target to something... Let's just say a light, and then we'll collect, uh, connect the low ammo to a light. And look at that, it starts blinking. Why? Because it's low on ammo. The low ammo threshold is 50 ammunition. So at 51, this light will not come on. At 50, it will come on. And then I'm going to hook up no ammo to another light. You can see no ammo is also blinking because there's no ammunition in it right now. Duh. Okay. The description says it needs 10 units of power. That's almost true. It does need 10 units of power to operate, but it also needs one more unit if you want to use these outputs. So if you want to use the outputs for any type of indicator or maybe a radio signal to page you when someone's at your base or maybe when it's low or out of ammo, then it needs at least 11 units of power. So make sure you have enough power to make it operate the way you intend. I'm going to turn it off and open it up. I'm going to put 51 units of uh, ammunition inside just to show you that with 51 units in here, the no ammo light turns off because it's not empty, and the low ammo light turns off because I just told you that the threshold is 50. So with 51 in here, no warning anymore. Ah, but how do we make this turn on? Well, watch this. Scientist, there we go. Now it's blinking because it has a target. Now it doesn't have a target, so it's not blinking anymore. But now the low ammo light is blinking because we drop below the 51 unit threshold. There you go. Again, I cannot put ammunition into this thing while it's on, so turn it off, open it up, uh, put in more than 51 ammo, and you'll see that the low ammo light turns off. There you go. I will put together some more uh, videos in the future to go into ways that you can use these output handles for more things like sending radio signals or setting off alarms or doing other cool things. But for now, that's the basics that you need to know about the new electrified auto turret. Mm -hmm. 